Hello students, uh, the first synchronous memory device I'm going to tell you about is called the SR Latch. Um, An S stands for set and R stands for reset. And the idea here is that if we set the latch, we're going to set our output, output to 1. And if we reset, we're going to set our output to 0. So the SR latch can be made with either a NOR or a NAND. I'll show you the NOR implementation. Um, it looks like this. So we have our first NOR has an input of our set. And then the second NOR has the reset input. And then we have this feedback loop. So if this is our output, I'll call it Q, then um, the output from the second NOR is going to come up as input to the first NOR. And then the output from the first NOR comes in as input to the second NOR. OK, so um, this ends up being Q. And this ends up being Q naught. OK, is this kind of intermediary input that goes from the first NOR to the second NOR. Now, um, the truth table for this, it looks like this. We have our inputs S and R and our output Q. And um, if our set is high and our reset is low, that means that we're going to set our output Q to be 1. OK, so this is set is equal to 1. And then um, even if our set goes to 0, um, and 1 is still going to be set on the output. OK, so you can think of it as the 0 or the 1 kind of gets latched inside of this um, memory device. So this is, I could say that this stays set. OK, so then if we want to reset our latch, so reset is high, that is going to force a 0 on our output. So reset um, equals 1. So we're going to set Q to 0. And then um, even after reset goes to 0, we will still have a 0 kind of latched on our output. Now, the limitation to this SR latch is that we can't both set and reset this at the same time. So we call this a, a forbidden or maybe um, a metastable state. And the reason why it's considered metastable is because um, if we try to set and reset this at the same time, chances are even if these two NORs are made by the same manufacturer, one of them is going to likely be just a little bit faster than the other. So whichever one where the output sort of arrives first is going to um, give us the answer here on our outputs Q and Q naught. And so um, this output's sort of untrustable. So we don't allow it. We say this is our forbidden state. Um, so this is the implementation for the NOR. And let me show you, it's usually, you usually see it like this. Most texts will have the NORs kind of stacked on top of each other like this. And they'll have the, um, the S here and the R here. And then take the output from here. This goes as input to that guy. And then take the output from here. And this goes as input to this guy. OK, so then um, that would make this Q, and that would make this Q not. So then the input coming into here is Q, and the input coming into this guy here is Q not. All right, so if you see it in this implementation, um, that's the same thing. So um, we can make this SR latch with two NORs like this. Or we can also make this with two NANDs. And the reason why that works basically boils down to um, applying De Morgan's theorem. We can build with NANDs because of De 
Morgans. So if you, if we kind of take this first NAND, what's this first NAND look like if we zoom up on it? Well, it has an input of S and has an input of Q, right? And then the output here is Q naught. So um, written in Boolean algebra, this looks like S or Q naught is equal to Q naught, right? So if I apply De Morgan's to this left-hand side here, this gives me S naught, I replace the or with an and, Q naught is equal to Q naught. So that means that um, this nor I can replace with an and as long as I negate my inputs before they go into the NAND. And this will give me Q naught. So logically this thing is equivalent to this. Now, um, if I want to make this with a NAND instead of an AND, basically I can add a, um, a bubble on the end of this. So that's an inverter. I can add an inverter onto the end of this, and that makes this output Q naught naught, which is just regular Q. Okay, and the reason why we would want to make this with a NAND is that NANDs are cheaper and less complicated to produce in hardware. So that is the first NOR implemented with um, a NAND. So we can do a similar thing with the second NOR. We can apply De Morgan's to it kind of algebraically and graphically, and we end up with um, inputs Q and R naught. There's our inverter on the end, and, and the output becomes Q naught. So, um, that's if I kind of remove them individually from the circuit. If I put them back together into the latch, then the SR latch with NANDs looks like this. We'll have a NAND, the input to the NAND, the top NAND is S naught. We'll have the second NAND, the input here is R naught. And then the output of this guy is Q naught, and the output of this guy is Q. Um, we make our feedback loops, so Q should be the input to the R naught NAND right there, and Q naught should be the input to the S naught NAND right there. Okay, so um, this is often referred to as an S naught R naught latch. So if you make an SR latch with NANDs, then it kind of becomes this S not R not latch. And the reason why it's referred, it kind of has a different name, even though logically it's equivalent, is because these inputs, these outputs get switched. So let me show you the truth table for this guy. Truth table for the S not R not latch is like this. We have inputs S naught, R naught, and then we have our output Q. Now, um, this is gonna operate kind of opposite as the last one. So this is going to reset when R naught is high, okay? So R naught equals one, we're going to reset. So that means we're gonna set a zero on our output Q. So then if this gets reset even after this goes from high to low, we will have latched a value of zero on our output. So I'll say here this stays reset. Then um, to set this latch, this is gonna set when S naught is high. So if we have this situation, then we're going to set our latch output to one. So S naught equals high, we're going to set Q is equal to one. And then after this goes to zero, we'll have a one still set here on our output Q. So we'll say stays set. Now, um, just like with our NOR implementation, if we have both set S naught and R naught high, like we're trying to set and reset at the same time, this is going to be a metastable state. So we call this um, a forbidden or metastable state because our output's not going to be reliable, so we just don't do it. So that's the SR latch and the S not R not latch. Let me know if you have any questions.